Philemon Sanctuary. In the mid-1920s, the distinction between his dream book and the black books increasingly become blurred. And we find more notations of dreams in the black books in this period. Young's interested Jung's interest eventually shifted from the transcription of Liber Novus to the elaboration of his mythology in the Black Books to working on his tower in Bolagen. In 1920, he had purchased some land in the upper part of Lake Zurich in Bolagen. Prior to this, he and his family would sometimes spend holidays camping in the delta at the upper end of the lake. He felt the need to represent his innermost thoughts in stone and to build a completely primitive dwelling. Bologen was a great matter for me because words and paper were not real enough. I had to put down a confession in stone. A tower was a representation of individuation. Over the years he painted murals and made carvings on the wall. The tower may be regarded as a three-dimensional continuation of Liber Novus, this Liber Quartus. At the end of Liber Secundus, Young wrote, I must catch up with a piece of the Middle Ages within myself. We have only finished the Middle Ages of others. I must begin early. In that period, when the hermits died out, Significantly, the tower was deliberately built as a structure from the Middle Ages, with no modern amenities. It was an evolving work. He carved an inscription on the wall that read, Philomonus Sacrum, Fausti Pornitentia, Philomon Shrine, Faust Repentance. One of the murals in the tower is a portrait of Philomon. On April 6, 1929, he wrote to Richard Wel- Wilhelm, Why are there no worldly cloisters for men who should live outside the times?